first guest this evening is an exceptionally gifted human being, you know, from many fun and wonderful things. Her work in the Ryan Murphy verse continues with the origin story of a nurse named Mildred in Ratchet. It's on Netflix now. Please welcome Sarah Paulson. <laughs> Thank you. I right. like your dress, by the way. I decided to just, you know, I haven't been out of the house in a while. I thought I'd put everything I own on. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? What Why the not? hell? Why not? Pearls and sequins. Feels good to me. Have you really not been out of the house in a while? I have been out of the house very briefly. Really? But very briefly. So when we asked you to come do the show and asked you to come here, you didn't know there would be all these people I here. found out last night that yeah. these folks, lovely Super spreader folks in the back, <laughs> back row. Um, four to a room, by the way. Four to a room. A room. What are you talking about? I, I mean, I don't want to be near four people ever again. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so this was, this was uh, nerve wracking, but you all look lovely and. That's how they do it at Ohio yeah. University. They pile <laughs> them up in the dorms. Uh... So you took it very seriously. This I did. Yeah, I was lockdown. one of those people. I still, to this day, I'm doing a lot of like um, sanitization. Is that a word? Sanitization theater. Yeah, probably. Let's go with it. Yeah. Where I'm just spraying everything. I would spray yeah. the air if I could right before I walked into any environment. Some I, weirdos are still wearing gloves in public. Um, weirdo. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> you I, are. I'd walk around in a bubble suit if I well, could. Well, that's the thing, though. The CDC said, you know, that whole thing about like getting it from this, that you don't get it from no, this. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. But you do get other stuff from that, like I, colds are making a comeback yes, now. Yes, I don't. I don't want that. I, I don't want yeah. anything that mimics a COVID story because I'm already on the internet too much googling all my aches. Are you really? Yeah, yeah, it's not good. Uh, maybe you don't know the answer to this, but I would like you to think about <laughs> okay. it for a second. Do okay. you feel like you just enjoyed being <laughs> separated, or are you really neurotic about? Getting it, or is it some combination? Neurotic about getting it. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, yeah. it's a terrifying disease. Well, listen, I'm not. You know, I was very careful, all that stuff. Where I know it's terrifying, but you say now you're still spraying stuff. I'm and spraying that's, stuff. That I am. Falls into the category of neurosis yes. now. Yes. So yeah. then, yes, I'm going to take. Was it B? B. <laughs> B, okay. B. Neurotic. <laughs> right. Totally neurotic. So you didn't enjoy being by yourself. I, I, I did. You did. I did, but I'm, and I'm just now, I feel like the, like, is it the groundhog? I just feel like looking around and deciding whether or not it's time for me to look at my own shadow or okay. not. <laughs> um, and so I ventured out a little bit. I went to one dinner. Okay. With my friend Diane Keaton. Oh, dropped, wow. Dropped that's that a good name. dinner to go to. Why not? Diane she was like, I've been going. I've been sitting outside. I'm vaccinated. We can do it. So I, I do decide to go. This is my first dinner in 17 months outside of my home. Wow. Um, like I said, very committed. Uh-huh. Uh, and I went out, and it was one of the more terrifying experiences of was my life. Was it really? Well, there was a guy sitting kitty corner, <laughs> catty corner, whatever it is, from our table who sneezed approximately 14 times and then coughed repeatedly and didn't bother to stand up and go, it's allergies. I don't want to alarm anyone. And I found that really rude. And so I sort of, I was like, Diane, I think I have to go. I I have to oh, go. did you leave early? I didn't leave, but I wanted to. I was, I was outside. What I does Diane Keaton in. eat when you guys go to dinner? <laughs> Um, she's, she eats a lot of, is it Lillette, Lillet wine with ice? That's what she likes to eat. She eats wine? She likes to have that more than the other things, <laughs> let's put it that way. Um, no, she likes a lot of, um, pasta. She doesn't eat any meat or fish. Okay. So How long have you guys been friends? About 20, well, her daughter just got married. Okay. And we, uh, I knew her daughter as of two, so. Oh, wow. She's so, 25 now, I think, so oh. it's been a very long time. Were you at the wedding? I was at the wedding. Oh, so you have I gotten... did. So these were my two events, and they both involved Diane. Yeah. Was it a big wedding? It was bigger than I'd like, Jimmy. <laughs> it was bigger than I'd like. It was, it was, it was nerve-wracking. It yeah. was nerve-wracking. It is weird. It yeah. is weird, and it is. They were, a lot of people were masked, and that's also strange. I hear a lot of the grooms are wearing veils now, too. <laughs> Just for safety. <laughs> I would support this completely. Well, so you've known, oh, you've known Diane for quite some I've time. I've known her for a very long time, yes, but she, I, I am assuming it's a term of affection, but every time I call her, she answers the phone, what do you want, is what she says. <laughs> or she says, hey, hi, hi. 
hey, hi, dummy. Hey, idiot. You know, it's a lot of idiot moron. It's, it's... You sounded like her. Do you, did, did you do I that? don't do a very good one, but she's always like, hey, hi, hi, hi. It's Diane, hi. It's <laughs> a lot of that, hi, 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 what? What do you want? <laughs> You're the dumbest person I know. She says that she to She said me. that to you. She says that to me a lot. I don't know. <laughs> and that's a compliment? I think it's a term of affection. Okay. Coming you should her. ask around and I'm make gonna sure. I'm going to find out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, okay. And I also heard that you and Carrie Fisher were friends, which is yeah. another legend uh, yeah. of acting and... Writing, too. And I mean, also a, like, funny person funny. and writing. Yes, obviously. Just a wonderful yeah. writer. I was obsessed and am still obsessed with the movie she made. Postcards from the Edge with the great late Mike Nichols. Oh, was Jordan one of Lane that? And, and I, yeah. Is that one of those movies you watch a lot of times? It's just, it's one, I like the very sad 80 person clap. Yeah. It's sweet. It's like, well, the kids from Ohio are just pretending they know yeah, what that come is. On. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm <laughs> The kids from Ohio don't even know what postcards yeah. are. <laughs> Never mind the movie. <laughs> Postcards on the Edge is a great, great, great movie. Right, and I'm yeah. the kind of person that if you watch it with me, you're going to want to kill me because I'm just the entire time, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, you part. know all the yeah, words. Yeah, and I know all the words, and it's really <laughs> irritating. But I was at a party with her uh -huh. very, very early on in my career where I was invited not with a significant other, but I had to go by myself. And there's nothing worse than going to a party anyway by yourself, but go, like showing up and like, Mong, on this, you know, huge Hollywood... Bong. Did you like that noise that I made mm -hmm. for the... You're very talented, yeah. yes, Bong. yes. It's like... <laughs> there was this huge executive's house, and I had to walk in this cavernous hallway by myself. It was just awful. But then Carrie Fisher arrived. I never met this woman, but she also came alone. She had glitter in her hair and, like, a pocket of spray glitter in her purse. It was like <clears> She sprayed everybody. It was great. And we really hit it off, and I tried not to let on that I was a super fan. Uh -huh. Don't think that went well. But at the end of the night... We were both driving home. She was in front of me in her car, and I was in my car, and we were at the corner of Coldwater Canyon and Beverly Glen, and she rolled down her window and shouted out, hey, do you want to come to a party? And I was like, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I really do. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. And she said, um, take, write this down. And I was like, you know, fumbling, and I had a lip liner in my car, and I took, like, an old, like, McDonald's cup or something, and I was, like, writing her email down. And I promptly went to go buy a computer the next day because I didn't have a computer of my own. And that email address that I created then is my email address to this day. Ooh, is that right? Yeah, and it's a terrible email address. You haven't switched I it? I haven't switched it. Is it an it. AOL address? It's not an AOL address. It's just, it's, it's, it's the email of a very, very simple child. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it's, and I it wonder... was a party. It was a, it was a, it was called, uh, she asked me if I wanted to come to Gore Vidal's makeout party. Was the what? title. It was a Gore Vidal's makeout party. A Gore Vidal was a writer and they he. They don't know. He would bring. <laughs> Gore Vidal was a person. <laughs> A man, a human man. He's a human man. He would bring, he'd like, he was a yeah. writer and he would bring like people, he'd have these interesting parties, right? Yes. And a Carrie, makeout party. Carrie had this and it was her idea to call it the makeout party. Oh. Where Shirley MacLaine was, I mean, it was a huge, it was, I think Queen Latifah was there. All these people were there and I was obviously panicked because neurotic. Um, and uh, Did people make people out? Would, I never, I didn't see anyone make out, but there was a hat with names in it. And you were supposed to make out with whomever you pulled out of the hat. Really? Wow. And Matthew Perry pulled my name out of the hat wow. and then promptly left the room. And I was like. <laughs> Wait, how do you know he pulled it out? Because I saw him. He was like, oh, well. And he's like, mm, I got you. And I was like, oh, uh, well, let's kiss. And he was like, no. And he, What? <laughs> no, he wasn't. It just, we knew each other a little bit through one of my, my very best friends. Oh, the was, it so it was awkward because you knew each other? Yeah. But then we ended up playing uh, romantic partners years later on a show called Studio 60, and then I got my kiss. Oh, you did? I got several <laughs> kisses. <laughs> and boy, did he regret not taking me up on it back at Four Beat Alls Makeup I party. think Matthew might not remember some of those years. He might not. Yeah, he so. might not, yeah. He probably thinks we did make out at that party. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just go with I that. I shouldn't disabuse him of that Sarah notion. Paulson is with us. Her show is wrapped on Netflix. We'll be right back. This patient admitted herself to this hospital. And she's free to leave whenever she chooses. Do you believe Dr. Hanover's treatments have helped you? I believe he's the only person who can help me. As head nurse, I'm allowing both of them to go. That is Sarah Paulson in Rapid, which is on Netflix now. Sarah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. this is like when you get a role like this, a nurse ratchet from One Flew Over the...
the cuckoo's nest. Yeah. It, that's got to be just uh, all you could possibly ever want, right? I, I did really want to do it, but Ryan wasn't interested in me doing it at first. I think he was going to offer it to some very fancy Academy Award winning lady, and I kind of went in and took it. Yeah, don't you get first <laughs> right? Seems like you should have... I sort of feel like Ryan. I think I paid. Like we've done a lot of things. Can I get this part? Yes. And uh, yeah, he did. He did give it to me, which is he did the, the right thing. He let me thing. have it. He certainly did. He the let right me have thing. it. Yeah. <laughs> Dean, now, is it appropriate? And I don't know. I'm not an actor. And I don't know. Yeah. Is it? Oh, like, would you go and watch the movie again? Would you look at it before you you at, play at this part? At first, I wasn't going to because I thought it's just going to get me in my head. This is an Academy Award-winning performance by the very brilliant Louise Fletcher. This, this, I think it's on the AFI list of like top hundred villains. She's number five. Oh yeah. And I just thought this greats. is a mistake yeah. that yeah. I'm like <laughs> attempting to do this. <laughs> like, who am I kidding? And then I really thought it would be the, the largest way I could honor Louise Fletcher's performance is if I watched it and tried to steal as much of, a, of her performance as I could and pass it off that as my own like creation. And Louise I think any great it. actor will tell you that that's what they do. That is yeah. how you do it, yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's you, how you do it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I mean, why not? People don't want it to be that they different. They don't want it to be that different. And I think they want it. And because it's an origin story, I wanted to have her posture. I wanted to have certain things that might be indelible in viewers' minds about the way she, she portrayed. You should very have good still posture. And, and you do have good posture. I really yeah. am pretending right. to have great posture. Yeah. <laughs> do you find that when you're pretending to have good posture, you kind of wind up having good posture? Yes, that's what pretending is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean beyond the, the movie. No, the minute it's show. over, I'm just like, you're this. right back Yeah, to yeah, this. yeah. Okay. I have a problem with the po It's the posture things, not. Me and my chiropractor have a real appointment scheduled at some point when this is all over. Okay, all maybe, right. Maybe never. <laughs> yeah. You, um, last time you were with us, oh, yeah. you were working on, oh, the Monica Lewinsky and Linda Tripp. I'm still working on that, Jimmy. It's, it's still going. <laughs> we're still shooting it, yeah. Even wow. though it's coming on very soon, September 7th, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's crazy. And... Beanie Feldstein is playing Monica Lewinsky yes. in that. Yeah, she's brilliant. And, in that, and for those who don't remember the story... Oh, those people in Iowa don't remember. Ohio? <laughs> Iowa? Same well, thing, right? Well, we used to have Not a really president. Remember. His name was Bill Clinton. His name is Bill Clinton, yeah. And something very dirty happened. Something. <laughs> um, and now they're making a show about it. Yeah. <laughs> which he's going to be excited <laughs> be so about. Happy. Do you think he'll watch this? Right. I I don't know. No maybe. way, I, right? I, I don't mean, know. I'm, no I'm thinking maybe no. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna pretend this <laughs> one didn't maybe happen. Maybe no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe not. So you're playing this part, oh, and this is they were very close, and then Linda Tripp started recording all of Monica Lewinsky's phone calls. Yeah. They worked it. She was a real busybody, yes? I mean, Jimmy, this is a long conversation. Uh -huh. I don't think of her as a busybody. Um, oh. I think of her as trying oh. very hard to. You have, yeah, we'll right. talk I about it later. <laughs> OK. <laughs> but yeah. 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 So um, Bean, you and Beanie are shooting this in uh, Washington, right? We uh, went to Washington to, to shoot, yeah. And for some reason, <laughs> and I still don't understand what's happening in this video, okay. but Beanie shoots a video of you. She did, yeah. And you are walking through the park, <laughs> yeah. and you happen upon some ducks. Well, right? who happens upon ducks? I mean, that. I mean, if walking in the middle of Washington D.C., I didn't know that was a thing. Uh -huh. It was just sitting there, the duck. Uh huh. And I decided I needed to talk to it. Talk to the duck. And I have been working with the movement coach, uh, playing Linda, because she had a specific walk and a way of carrying herself. So then I decided I wanted to become like the duck, and so I started to walk like the duck and try to talk to the duck about our marriage. And your friend and co-worker Amy decided Feldstein. to pull out her phone. She sure did, and then and, put it on the internet. And let's take a look. <laughs> Bert says I want to have a talk about our marriage. <laughs> Bert says, help me just talk about what happened with the party. We have to talk about it. I can't let it just go. I know it. Don't run away from me. We have so much open. <laughs> I really think I would think you lost your marbles if I didn't have any context <laughs> watching that. I know. I just to me it made all the sense in the world to try to communicate with the duck. It probably means I've been inside my house for too yeah, long. Yeah, you have. You've been. It's time, it to, it's, it's time to it's time to make to friends yeah, again. I just wanted to embody the duck physically, <laughs> and I tried to do a little walk. And I named him Bertrand. Do you have any guest um, rooms? <laughs> They're like, wow. Oh, you named the duck. I named the duck Bertrand. What I'm saying is Bertrand. 
I want to talk about our marriage. <laughs> oh, my God. And he did not want to talk about it. <laughs> well, it's very good to see you. you I'm glad like, you're out. Yeah, you need like, to socialize. Back, get, get back you need out to start the acclimating here. with <laughs> yeah. society again. Do you have any rooms maybe you could let some yeah, of the students you guys want to come stay to at the house? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sarah Paulson, everybody. Ratchet is on Netflix now. We'll be back with Frank Grillo. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.